Up news this morning, 25 years later, survivors of the Kentucky high school shooting are spreading a positive message and the pilot shortage has one high schooler taking flight. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News this morning. Good morning to you. It's 538 here on this Friday. I'm Dakota Makris. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Let's head over to Brandon for a look at our forecast this morning. And Brandon, when you asked me earlier if my car had frost on it, it probably does now, it, but it, it didn't it, earlier. Actually, I didn't look on my way in. You're probably right, though. It could, yeah. but some places had some frost, some places didn't, but some mm -hmm. places had clouds and some places didn't. So again, let's take a look at UVA Wise. A few clouds over there. Let's hope for this camera stays on here long enough for us to take a look at it. Kind of likes to glitch sometimes, but you see off from the distance there on the lower left, few little clouds out there this morning. 34, visibility pretty good. Dew points 14, so that air is dry this morning across the region. 20 Clintwood, 37 in Logan, Williamsburg, and Monticello. And temperatures are doing something they don't typically do right now. They're starting to go up as we head toward the upper 50s a little bit later on today. So two degrees colder in Hazard and Jonesville this morning than it was this time yesterday. Remember yesterday, a lot of folks were close to 30 degrees colder from the day before. But some folks like Logan, Williamsburg, and Wines are double digits warmer than they were this uh, time yesterday. So again, temperatures swinging back and forth wildly this week. Forecast today, 58 is our forecast high. Might get a little bit warmer. Some winds coming out in and out of the south ahead of a system that's going to impact us as we head into the weekend. Dakota. All right, Brennan, thank you. Well, 25 years ago, families in Paducah were mourning and in disbelief after a student at Heath High School opened fire on a prayer meeting outside of the school, killing three students. Michael Carnell was 14 at the time of the shooting. He was convicted and sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after 25 years. Carnell was denied parole back in September. Survivors are remembering the day by spreading a positive message. Chad Hedrick reports. December 1st, 1997 is a dark and tragic day in Kentucky history. It's the day Heath High School student Michael Carneal opened fire on unsuspecting students, killing three of them. In the 25 years since, students who survived that day continue to share their stories and react each time another school is the setting for gun violence. It's frustrating that after 25 years, it's still happening. That was Missy Jenkins Smith earlier this year reacting to the news of the mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas. She was paralyzed in the shooting at Heath High School. Just months later, she would open up again as the man who shot her was up for parole. Also on December the 1st, 1997, Michael sentenced me to life in a wheelchair without the paucity of parole. For two days in September, survivors and families of victims shared their testimony to keep Carneal in prison. I believe that Michael knew what he was doing the day of the shooting. He brought five guns with him, enough ammo to shoot everyone in the school twice and had three pairs of earplugs. The families and survivors continue to push for change and legislation to protect other communities and families from facing the heartache and pain they continue to process daily. Survivor Brittany Thomas telling WKYT, in light of all the recent shootings that keep happening, I would just add a message for other survivors to not lose hope. It does get better and healing is possible. And I was Chad Hedrick reporting next month marks five years since the shooting at Marshall County High School where two students were killed. Just days before that will be the 30th anniversary of the shooting at East Carter High School. It's known as one of the first school shootings to make national headlines. Well, the Logan County, West Virginia Sheriff's Office reports a man accused of sending inappropriate messages to middle school students was arrested. 25-year-old Aaron Grant of Foster, West Virginia, was arrested and arraigned Thursday. The Sheriff's Office reports school resource officers at Logan Middle School were made aware of the possible inappropriate messages via the social media platform Snapchat. Yesterday, Grant was charged with disruption and di distribution rather and display to a minor of obscene matter. A student and school bus driver are still in the hospital following a bus crash in McGoffin County. And now it happened nearly three weeks ago on Route 40. The bus went down an embankment. All 18 students on the bus and the driver were taken to multiple hospitals. All but one student has been released. Well, the pilot shortage has been making flights more expensive and cancellations more common. However, there could be a solution in the form of high school students. Three Michigan school districts are joining forces for a flight school 
with enrollment opening this spring. Aaron Bowling has the story. Keegan Godoba is training to become a pilot. He spent about 300 hours in the air and in simulators, but he still has about 12,000 hours to go. And the sooner you can get into it, the better, because then you have all that additional time of flying. It takes a lot of time and effort to get behind the wheel, but he says it's worth it. Once you get in there, you know, all those nerves goes away and you just have the world open to you. The aviation world is based off of seniority. Pilots with more experience get better flights, better planes, and better pay. There's no better time, especially if they have the interest in it. It's better to start early and be proactive in getting those good steps forward. That's why the Tri-County Schools are getting their students involved. Because there's record shortage across the nation of pilots. The Capital Region International Airport plans to fill the shortage by providing free pilot training to high school students, making the career field more financially accessible. So the program is, is open to all students in the Tri-County, both Clinton, Eaton, and Ingham County. Uh, it's in the same format as our other CT programs. Godoba says he would have loved the opportunity to become a high school student pilot. Flying is absolutely amazing. There's, there's nothing like it. Excitement over a new career in aviation that's also helping address the industry's need for new pilots. Aaron Bowling, News 10. And coming up here on Mountain News this morning, a country music singer plans to have a concert here in Kentucky with a portion of ticket sales going to a good cause. And the forecast will be a back and forth one this weekend and into the first of next week. I'll have the latest in about three minutes.